Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and I am so beyond excited to show you guys what I purchased at the Southern Comforts Fiber Market in Fort Mill, South Carolina. First off, if I didn't use it as the thumbnail, oh, I wish I'd paid attention. There was a way to win a prize potentially on the back of the book. Um, I grabbed it on my way out because I'd been checking them out online as soon as I heard about them. So I follow a yarn dyer named Queen City Yarns and they did an amazing job at advertising this because this really wasn't advertised very heavily in our local area. But Queen City Yarn for the last three weeks has been sharing on in their weekly email that they were going to be attending a vendor show in Fort Mill. And I was like, wait a minute, there's a fiber show here? No, this is their very first year. So if you miss Sunday's video, Sunday I shared all the footage that I took at the vendors, did a little bit of talking about a couple of them that weren't obvious, you know, explicit based on the pictures that I took and told you guys I was going to come back today and share with you guys what I actually got. And I got quite a bit, not just in what I've got here, but also we'll get to it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, we'll get to it. But there is a lot of stuff to share with you guys. And I am so excited to start diving in and playing with so much of this. But I'm hoping I can remember everybody's uh, names. I think everybody has a label of some form in some group. First off, I shared in my original video, Cardinal Woodworking, but I shared a video of Sue working a very large antique spinning wheel. But from Cardinal Woodwork, I got these beautiful stitch markers and they come in the cutest little tin with their website in the back. All of these shops will still be linked down below once again. And if you go back, if you for some reason did not watch Sunday's video and you go back to the vendor share, all of their links are also in that video. So please do go check out some of these people. Almost all of them, not 100%, but almost all of them are on Instagram as well. So please go check them out on Instagram. This is from Knitting Notions and this is a shawl pin slash hair pin. Now my hair is not quite long enough to be able to use it as a hair pin because my hair is so fine. But if you have slightly thicker hair, these are pretty awesome. This one is in Purple Heart Wood. And it's absolutely beautiful. She had some amazing finished objects. She's that very first vendor that I shared. I mean, she had some stunning yarn, but her finished objects there were gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I need my, my shopping bag to stay open so I can take stuff back upstairs. I took my own, my own bags because I knew this was one of those places Carrie was going to get in a lot of trouble. So two things down. Next up, we'll go with the button ladies buttons that I got. So I am going to turn these into some more... Cufflinks for that uh, big bulky shawl that I did last year. So I will back these with a very small black button and then a medium sized black button. And then these will be the buttons that sit on the outside of that shawl. And that was uh, Dusty's Vintage Buttons. Michelle is the shop owner over there. She is a riot and a half. Absolutely wonderful. A very level-headed ditzy person. Some of us exist up there. If you if 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 you're stopping by, <laughs> you were busy when I came by on Saturday, but I did bring hubby with me on Saturday. <laughs> uh, next up. I got these from Nitty Gritty. These are actually in her current sale bin but I really like these together so I need to pick a project that I can use both of these together these are fingering weight 
These are 8020 Superwash Merino Nylon, 400 yards, 100 grams. The color of this one is Mother of the Bride. This one does not have a color. But when I saw those sitting down there together, they had to be mine. They had to be mine. And she had the most beautiful sweater she was wearing. She had a really beautiful yellow sweater on on Friday and then had the cutest little pink with like a little chevron eyelet design that she had on, on Saturday. I went both days. I knew there would be things I, I wish I had purchased but didn't. So I went ahead and got the two-day pass. I know me very well now. Up next, we have another Halloween project bag because this one was so spoopy. You don't know how cute he is. And this is from Foggy Mountain Fiber Company? Arts? I can't remember. Once again, in the description box down below, you will find her Etsy shop. They are working on putting her own website together now. But believe it or not, you guys, she's only been making bags for a couple of months. And I mean, she's already mastered getting the interfacing in there and everything else. Let me just have a really, really bright inside of the bag. Never going to be able to lose anything in the bottom of this bag from your eyesight. There were some very Halloween-y purchases made. There are no regrets. No regrets. Next. Hmm. Let's go with this. So this was actually a free sample from Meridian Millhouse. And this is a free sample of their acrylic fiber. I told you guys in the vendor share that they're getting to where they are selling their own line of yarns on Etsy and hoping to continue to grow their own line as well but they do manufacture yarns for other companies they do also sell undyed yarns to dyers so I'm really excited I'm gonna play with this on the drop spindle I think I, I haven't pulled it out and started playing with it to see what the length of the fibers are to see if I could spin it easily or not but I think that's pretty cool and that's a really neat way to get used to their fibers at a fiber show is handing out free samples of just the plain fiber so that'll be fun to play with. Next. So this is Queen City. I got two hanks of the new Halloween yarn, Witch's Brew. And this is their 2021 Halloween yarn. I love ordering from them. I've ordered from them under two different names, going to two different addresses now. Plus, I've picked some up in person. But I absolutely love it. I love their colors. They, in a lot of their yarns, I've noticed there's a little slip of something unusual hidden, like using a slightly different color than you would think to speckle something. Or, I mean, you've got the, the obvious, like, it's just bright, but like, You've got more of that maroon tone with all these very brights instead of going with like a hyper pink color to go with all the brights. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love their yarn. They're the yarn bases that they use to dye are absolutely beautiful. This is the Biddleville DK and this is 100% Superwash Merino. 115 grams, 250 yards. And the color is Witch's Brew. I put a spell on me. Oh, there's still so much down here. There's still so much down here. This is another one that had so many fun things. And I almost went back and bought some of her sparkle yarn. But I had to remind myself I can let them store the yarn for me. And when I know what I want to do with it, I can place the order. So the name on this is Meteor Shower. It's a 75-25 fingering weight yarn. So it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards, 100 grams. And this is Aria, Aria Yarn Company. And this is the yarn. 
And I love that denim wash where you've got the speckles through the denim wash and then it blooms into the color. For some reason, this makes me think of, uh, Meteor is a good one, but uh, it makes me think of flower that has that really deep on the inside of it and it feathers out into a color, different color onto the edges of the petals. Now you can see why I'm like dying to start working with this and why I needed to go ahead and film this as quickly as possible so I can start playing with things, but it gets worse. Oh, does it get so much worse? I'm trying to say, I bought, I bought from a lot of vendors, but I tried to keep it down to like one or two skeins of something as I was shopping on Friday. But there were a couple that I ended up coming back to on Saturday where it's like, you know, I just have to have that now. Now this is from Fiber Studio. They are the third clip in the vendor share. And this is some of the Seasong Lace. It's 51% cultivated silk, 79% super fine merino, and 20% sea cell. Now, sea cell is absolutely beautiful. It drapes like nothing else. It's so soft. But it's got this beautiful, you can see the sheen on it. And the color name on this is Deep Woods Red Fox Club. This is actually the one I picked up in the video and was talking about how well this took color. And now you can really see it in the pretty true to color. These are actually two 50 gram hanks that are twisted up together. You can see the right there. So that's going to be absolutely beautiful for some color work or some alternating uh, delicate alternating like lace pattern rows. But I just, I love these colors. If you're working with something like Sea Cell or um, there's another really slippery fiber, I can't remember the name of it. If you, when you cake it up, put it in a bag. That way it doesn't like start to flop all over the place and get tangled up. Really weird good tip for using things like Sea Cell. Um, okay, we're starting to get into the people I went back to. So this is the last single. And this is from Wendy Wool Windings. I told you there was a lot of Halloween things that were going to just kind of creep in here. But I really love this braid. Once again, it's that Halloween spoopy thing with the, the purple and the, the green... The name on it is actually Carnival Lights. It's hand dyed using acid dyes. It's 100% Monadel wool comb top. And it's four ounces. And they, this is a third generation family farm. Absolutely intriguing and fantastic colors on the braids. And they were selling, you know, raw fibers to be combed and carded. And they had a couple of, a couple of the mills and farms had just like the blank, plain roving that you can braid up yourself. All right. Let's continue on with the roving. So these are all from Two Roots, Two Roots Alpaca Farm. That, this big ball of roving. And we got this, once again, that purple and green thing. You can tell I'm thinking fall already. Like everything just is, I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for fall. These are both four ounces of the floofy stuff. And they also had a blue version of this and a green version of this. And one of them was spinning the green one. And I'm like, I'm really glad I got the pink one. It's going to be pretty. Even if I do a horrible job spinning it. It's still going to be beautiful. Oh, wait, what was that I said? A horrible job spinning something. So while I'm showing off the bump of this beautiful blue, this is actually the one that I shared in the picture from the vendor market. This was the only picture that I got because I got so enchanted talking to them. They were absolutely wonderful to chit chat with. This is the one where I showed you the finished yarn that they sell as well as the fiber that they sell. So 
And this is a 52% alpaca. I can't. It's two different. Well, it's two different types of alpaca. Here, I'll just show you what it is. There we go. Make it easy. But I told you guys in the vendor market that Sue got my spinning wheel working. Skipper no longer skips. She's running just fine. I'm playing with something now. It's not fun to play with, but it's easy to play with. And it helps me make sure I'm getting the wheel down. Um, so I do have like half, uh, well, it's more than half. I probably got three quarters of a bobbin full of a single now. And I'm going to do a two color barber pole yarn out of this. So it's going to be pink and blue. I'm very excited. But I also got who I have named the grumpy old man. This is a 1970s handmade spinning wheel. And they kept saying he's a she. He's not a she. No, he's a he. He's a grumpy old man. But if you treat him right, he's going to be real sweet. So grumpy and I are going to have some growing pains together, but I think it's going to be worth it. And they're both, both of my spinning wheels are different from each other. I know like everybody was talking about me being such an amateur only having two wheels because uh, so many of them have five to seven wheels. But we'll get to see what Grumpy likes making. But the beautiful lady, Shirley, that I bought him off of also gave me a little fiber to play with. And once again, it's just fall vibes. Fall vibes. We're all in for the fall vibes right now. I think it's also been like, it, it's been over 100 degrees all week. All right. So I have two more purchases left to share. Now, I don't think any of these have color names on them. Well, some of them have color names. But first off, we'll talk about Apothecary. Apothecary. And she lives out in the middle of the woods. They grow indigo. So she had beautiful indigo dyed scarves. This is the sock set. And I love, I, I keep thinking it's like raspberry smoothie. Or a, if you cook, a coolie. You know what a coolie is? Um, this is 100% superwash wool. Let's see, heel and toe matching mini. So it's 85 yards here, 436 yards, eco-friendly acid dyes. And can I just say Fairy, which is the shop owner's name, totally personifies her name. She is absolutely precious. And then last but not least, we have this gorgeous trio from Apothecary. And this is turning out, this is really showing up black, black, but it's not. It's a almost navy-ish purple, a midnight plum. But, I mean, I, I, I kind of had to, because these just together look so phenomenal. I think I got a picture of the other ones I was looking at with it. But you, once again, it, I love that secret pop to something. So you have this beautiful rust and golden colors with the black and they kind of fade around each other with the graying and stuff. But then you have that maroon that pops in and the fact that this in person really does read more of a blue tone than a black, true, true black with the, I got the more golden version of this. We might have to have some more, um, spook your season things going on. And, oh, I forgot to tell you. So this is the, uh, it's Apothecary Luxury Hand-Dyed Fibers, but it's 7320 Merino and Silk. 70% Merino Silk, 30%, or 70% uh, Merino Wool, 30% Silk, High Twist Single Sock Yarn, 100 grams, 436 yards, hand wash and cool water, air dry, once again, eco-friendly dyes, 
eco-friendly acid dyes. And as we're getting into better eco-friendly dyes, I'm seeing more people playing with these very saturated colors. A lot of the stuff in her shop is neutral based, but they have these really interesting usage of pops of color. And to her, neutral doesn't mean black and brown. It's using natural colors. It's Her color palette was just beautiful. I mean, I'm generally drawn to the super bright, eye-watering, fun, or the more funky colors and stuff. But I love that intense natural look where you where you've turned up the definition or filtered what real nature can look like so we're on to the last vendor i purchased from and i did purchase quite a bit from her this is from the knitsmith and i really wish i had gotten some more pictures of her shop when i did the vendor share but she was sitting there spinning. There's actually a picture where you can kind of see the back of her head. But she was sitting there spinning this cotton candy roving. But this is her hibiscus color. And of course, I mean, we're right back to the Carrie Wheelhouse. And I keep telling you guys, I've been really drawn to this pink and orange thing. This isn't even like the Starburst version of it. This is just like, hello, look at me. These were just obviously me. These were from her clearance bin. I did not see these on Friday or I would have bought them on Friday, but I did see these on Saturday. So when I went back and was chit chatting, I saw these and had to buy these. But if you stayed with me this long, we're going to do something a little fun because I haven't done a true surprise unboxing and I will but she had these mystery bags. And I know I'm not the only one because I saw Erica toting one around too. I was like, is this yours? You did, got, you did a bright sock set too? So she tells you what they are. And mine is a sock kit. The yarn is a bright. The weight is fingering one skein plus one mini. Level advanced beginner, simple sock pattern, minimal color work. And I was like, okay. Okay, you have me intrigued. She had a crochet sweater kit done the same way. So mystery sweater. She had a couple of shawl kits. I was down. That time, I mean, I'll be honest. Like every single vendor I talked to was just phenomenal. But she was absolutely fun. Just a request to not be on camera. All right, so let's see what we got in our mystery sock set here. Yes. This is Mad Hatter. This is 80% superwash wool, 20% cash style nylon, four ply fingering, 431 yards, 100 grams. That is a bright, and I love this purple for the heel, toe, and calf. Oh, she says color work. I wonder if it's a color. I haven't pulled the pattern yet. <gasps> yes, me likey. Me likey a lot. Uh, by the way, this is 100% merino in the two-ply fingering weight. This is 100% superwash and fingering two-ply. Same thing here. 400 yards, 100 grams. I think I forgot to tell you that. And then we add in Mad Hot Off. I'm down. This is fun. Maybe next time I see her at a thing, I'll try one of the shawl things. Oh, yeah. It is a basic sock pattern. This is the Totally Rad Rib Sock Summer Lead Design Co. Yeah, I can see why you would pair that. With the, the purple striping. That's a good pairing. That's a really good pairing. I might do something a little bit different. Once again, I'm really loving the heel. So I could do these socks, but just do the heel from uh, Earth Tone Girls. Oh, it looks like we might have two heel options. Oh, no, they said uh, in the pattern, it shows you that you can do a heel flap and gusset or a peasant heel heel using this pattern. Let's see. 
see if there's another good picture on here. I'm very happy. I haven't gone back to see what Erica got in hers yet. Another picture of finished socks there. But yeah, you can totally see. Like, but there's so many things with the these that like do go together. Certain things were bought as a set, like the Apothecary yarns. I did get two skeins of the same DK from Queen City. This was another two skeins, and I think this is definitely going to be a shawl. The Queen City will also probably, let's be honest with the way I like shawls, the Queen City will probably also be a shawl. This might have to be socks. I don't know. It could just be a really loud cowl. I mean, I need stuff if I'm walking in the morning to make sure that I'm visible to oncoming traffic when it gets cold, right? I mean, that is legit, total. And then this just makes me, yeah, I'm really happy with my mystery bag. And I love the fact that she tells you what the colors are. Now, most of her colorways are bright and saturated. Um, but I do like the fact that she lists like, and I told her, I said, now, is this really going to be bright or is this going to be like sort of kind of bright? Because like, that's bright. And she's like, no, I'm pretty sure I put like a neon in there. And yes, she did. Yes, she did. So yeah, that's good. I had so much fun. We're not even, like, I'm not even going to think about what I spent. I'm not. I'm going to have no shame about this. I'm just going to enjoy it and squish all the lovelies and have fun with these. I do hope you guys check out these vendors because I really only got like this wee tiny little snapshot of even the ones I got pictures of and video of. There is so much to see and they only brought a certain amount of their product with them too. Like there is just so much to look at and so much to want to squish. Please go check them out. These are all local companies to me, but they do have their website and go, so, like, Fiber Studio and Apothecary, the way they group their colors together. So, you've got these magical fades that just kind of pop out at you. I know Erica got a sweater quantity of some stuff that was just scrumptious. <laughs> it was absolutely beautiful. But they kind of build themselves around these color palettes. And you've got so many options to play with. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to... And I'm going to go swish some lovelies. But I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. I love you. And as always, please take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.